Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today, originally I when I was gonna film this, I was gonna wait like six months, whatever, and see how we went. But I've decided while it's all fresh in my mind, I would talk about my experience and show you what it looks like um, and also play you some footage of what the actual insertion looks like. And then I figured I could do like an update video down the line where I kind of talk about how I've been going with it and whatnot. So if you guys are unfamiliar with what I'm talking about and you haven't seen my last vlog, which was a day in the life with heavy periods, I recommend you go watch that now before this. Um, it will pop up on the screen and be in the description. So go watch that video on this channel, vlog, whatever. In that video, I basically explained that my gynecologist wanted me to get the implant, which is basically a birth control rod that sits under the skin in your arm because the pill isn't an option for me because I can't absorb it. A lot of you guys commented on that last video as well and said, have you used a menstrual cup before? Yes, I have, and it fills up far too quickly for me. It's a lot easier for me, to wear, for me to wear pads, and I also find it very uncomfortable. That's that. So I'll start off by showing you. It's It'll be a week tomorrow that I've had it. And then the rod, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. If I kind of poke up one end. Do you see it there? And then there's the other end, right there. See? So it's like a little bar that sits under the skin. You can see it there, can't you, when I move it around? Right there, that's the end of it. So it's a little rod that sits under your skin like that and it basically is meant to stop your periods or reduce the heaviness of them. So I thought I'd talk a bit about my experience. I know a lot of people don't have local anaesthetic when they get these placed, but for me personally, I did. Now, if you're not, if you don't know, I have a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is basically a connective tissue disorder. So it makes my skin like super stretchy really stretchy and whatnot. It doesn't just affect like the connective tissues, it affects all your organs and bones, joints, all that stuff. One of the common like side effects of it is that local anaesthetic tends to not work very well. It takes double or triple the dosage of like a normal dosage and it also has like half the acting times. It'll wear off much much quicker basically. Um, and I've had that problem like my entire life. If you don't have Ellis Dan loss, this won't be a problem for you and if you get local anaesthetic, you're gonna be fine. Like, you know, you're not gonna feel the insertion at all. However, I could feel some of it, but I do have a very high pain threshold so I could deal with it, but it was painful. So basically, you get your script from your gynecologist or your doctor or whatever. Um, for me, my GP, which is like my general doctor that I see, in the doctor's surgery, not the hospital. She was trained in how to place them so I could go and get it done at my GP, but if that wasn't the case, then I would have got it done at the hospital, but it's a much longer wait and it's a big faff around because it's technically a day procedure. And it's just a lot more complicated if you get it done in a hospital setting. In Australia, this is how it's done. I'm only talking about my experience. I can't account for everybody. Um, so you get your prescription, you take it to the chemist, and they will give you the implant on, which is like a box with the like applicator and then the needle inside of that. So you use the applicator to insert it basically. So once you've got your little device, I booked an appointment with my GP. We arranged a day that we were gonna place it. We waited, I was actually on my period the week before this was placed and my GP wanted to wait until I'd finished my period for me to put, get the implant. Um, so we go into like this little like theatre room is what it's called. Lay down on the bed and you have your arm out on like a thing like this and then they mark, you can see, they mark out where they're going to place it with a little arrow which was where this little, this little mark here is where the arrow was. It still hasn't come off very well because it's the same pen that they use when they're marking out where they're going to cut in operations. So you, they mark out where they're going to put it, they have like a little guide to kind of line it up to see where it's going to go. Um, and then they will give you some local anaesthetic, which is basically, if you guys have ever been to the dentist and had a filling, those needles that you get to numb the area, that's what local anaesthetic is. So they give that in the area so it's all numb, because you shouldn't feel it, but obviously my circumstances I did, um, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, so they numb up all the area, so once they've numbed up the area, then you, they get the applicator and they use that to insert it. Um, and you pretty much just have to lay still, it only takes a couple of minutes. And that's it, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you've got your implant in. 
So it wasn't half as bad as what I expected. I know a lot of people do have side effects, but I know a lot of people that don't. So far, I haven't noticed anything. I mean, it's only been a week, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take, which is why I'm going to do update videos. Um, but at this moment in time, I've not noticed anything different or anything like that. And I really hope that like kind of ease some of your minds I suppose and if your doctor doesn't offer you local I'm sure you could request it because it was pretty painful for me and that was like with half like the local anesthetic study working at about half of the strength that it should so I imagine if you had no anesthetic at all that it would hurt like a lot although it is a quite quick insertion but it is a big chunky needle um, so trigger warning if you don't like that you can't really see the needle per se but in the next clips it does show oh no I lie I do show a needle when the local anesthetic is being inserted you can see the needle so trigger warning if you don't like needles um, then kind of skip over this part or I'll put a timestamp when we get to that bit so you guys can skip over it but yeah without further ado let's watch the footage <laughs> I hate turning around with these on. I actually would, do you have a top on underneath? I've got a bra. Can do, you I, to, do you want me to take this off? And I'll put a sheet on you. Yeah, is that right? I'm only gonna put local in, don't bother taping this. Where the, where the mark is? I, that's where I'm gonna start the local mm -hmm. and it will extend. So how, how, how long will it actually be? five. It's about that long. Okay. So if you see, you're meant to place it like in that kind of line. So mm -hmm. that's where it's going to be. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. If I do start having a reaction, where's like the best place for me to go to? The hospital? Or come back here? We can remove it here. Okay. Um, is that a little arrow? Yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the Phillips technique. <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, the most really? gentle person and perfect with things like this. I, I know, I'm just really anal because if it was in my arm, I'd be like, get it in the right spot. Yeah, no, a plastic surgeon taught me that because you, then you just get it really under the skin. Does that make sense? Because it's like at a 90 degree angle, so it just, it doesn't actually, are you right? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. So do you see it just runs subcut? Oh, so gentle. Are you right? Yeah. You're so sweet. Everyone else is like, ah, ah, and you're like, so gentle. It's because I've had it a lot and I've had some real like, nasty. nasty. Uh, Sorry, honey, the worst this is, is the worst. like, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to actually put heaps in. Okay. <laughs> that is generally the worst bit, I think. I know. I like. Apparently, um, and you can put bicarb and things in it to neutralize it slightly. You're okay with Corhex, aren't you? Yeah, I use it every day on my hickman. Oh my. I'm just gonna go. Can you is it gonna hurt? I hope not. No. You're gonna tell me if it does. Tell me if you have pain, but don't jump. Is it sore? <laughs> no. Tash, can you put the bed up for me? Actually, don't worry, abort. Abort. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> no, it's just because I'm worried about giving him causing pain, that's all. Are you okay, darling? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you in any pain? A little bit, but it's not. I'm bad. so sorry. No, it's okay. I've had worse. I'm so really good. sorry, darling. We're nearly done. Okay, are you mm -hmm. alright? Mm-hmm. It's like uh, when you put your finger underneath the chicken skin. Tom! <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the references. What? You wanted to know what was going on. <laughs> that's what it's like. Are you in pain? Are you okay? No, I'm okay. Of course she's in pain. Shh. <laughs> mm. I can see it on her face, but I, 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 I didn't anticipate this would be entirely pain-free for you, but... It's alright. That wasn't that bad. So, you okay? Yeah. So guys, I really, really, really hope that this was informative for you or kind of took your mind off things because it really is a simple, quick procedure that is, for the most part, painless and that the worst part is probably getting the local anaesthetic put in um, if you were like a, you know, if you have a normal, if you have a normal metabolism and your body processes things like normal then you should not have an issue. Um, 
but do let me know down in the comments if you've had the implant or also known as the implant on which is, I'll put it up on screen how to spell it um, yeah let me know what your thoughts were it has it worked well for you hasn't it worked like let me know in the comments and yeah let me know if you do want me to continue this and I'll do an update every like couple months uh, or something like that um, but yeah I really hope this has helped some of you guys and I hope you know now that you've seen the process of how it works it might kind of take the edge off and it might not seem so scary um, so with that said if you did enjoy this video guys please 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 do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell um, because YouTube's algorithm doesn't notify you if I upload half the time so you have to select the little notification bell and then notifications all um, so if you want to keep updated with my uploads then follow that um, but yeah I love you guys so 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 much and as usual I will see you in my next video leave any requests down below I love you all and